I'm Lynn, and welcome to another day at Utopia Farms. Prepare yourselves. We had a lamb storm overnight. Severe lamb storm. One of these is adopted. The little... Oh, maybe she's not liking it. Is that the boy? It may not be a successful adoption. We'll see. She's a first timer, you see. So long. Everybody's in different spots. Wouldn't adopt one of these. She just don't want something to do with it. Nasty girl. Well, she has a big man. <laughs> these are real, vi real vigorous. Two sets of triplets last night. A single. Twins. Pair of twins. And we got a little small lamb there. More triplets. And a pair of twins. More twins. All Dorsets last night. Hi, you're really pretty. You're very, he's very nice, Mom. Yeah. Oh, and then we just had another one. So we're in overflow mode because this isn't a jug. Oh, it's okay. We're not going to scare you. It's all right. Why, they look like they want a bottle. <laughs> no, I just fed them. I just, I just tubed them. Well, now they see you as Mom that quick. No, they, she's got lots of milk. She's good. Uh, check her teeth. I don't know if I checked her teeth. And we're out of iodine, so we have to get to the vets to get some more iodine if we can somehow today. We're about to start feeding, so the noise is starting. But I just wanted to show you this you what she did last night. Gigantical clumped up poop. Maybe that was part of the problem. We're going to try give her some mineral oil today to help loosen things up. But she's a trooper. I'll give her that, boy. And luckily she has a lamb that loves her, and I think that helps them. It motivates them to keep on trying. So... Um, I haven't shown you everything that we did this morning because I've basically just been going down the line and getting every, everyone recorded. Um, everyone looks pretty good. One you, luckily it's the only one that had a single. She has mastitis on one side, like it's infected. So we're going to treat her and hopefully she'll get both sides back. But she has one working side. Um, and as of right now, we have 51 sheep that have had lambs. So it went up quite a bit overnight. So today's the day we can't wait any longer. We have to start moving sheep around again. So we've just moved all our replacement ewe lambs onto one side of the barn. And we're going to move our replacement rams to the back of the other side. And then we're going to move the Dorset ram lambs that were born in the fall over to the front of this barn. So that will take care of three groups. You guys look really lovely today. Katie, it's not lamb races for them. So Arnie's got to put divider walls up here. Placement rams are kind of having a mad half hour because they've gone to the back of the pen and they think it... Ow! Oh! Ow, oh, that hurts you guys. And rams just play so stupid. Now you've hurt your head. Now he's hold, shaking his head. Males, eh? God, they're dumb. 
Guys, well, what? Well, I know. It's ridiculous. Fighting is fun. But they're so happy because they got a new pen because, you know, change is as good as what? What's that saying? <laughs> you know, you're getting old when you can't remember it. But change is a good thing. So they're not leaving the barn and they're not getting a bigger pen. But they've got a new location. So they're extremely excited right now. And of course that means they're, they're going to try kill each other. Silly so boys. we got all the Dorset fall lambs over to where the chute is. And right now we're going to vaccinate everybody with their Glamvac 6. And we're going to also sort the boys and girls so that they are separated from now on. So this is the first time that the lambs have been through a sorting chute. So it's a little more difficult than with the adults. Something that they do learn. And giving them vaccinations is a little bit harder too because... The adults are as high as the chute, so you can easily inject them, and the lambs are much smaller, so it's a little more difficult. Got everybody vaccinated, boys and girls. We got them separated into two groups. This is the girls. These are the boys. Now the boys are going into a new pen, so we gotta somehow lure them to the new barn. <laughs> Arnie's gonna go open the gate. Only now when they're leaving did they use notice that there's lambs here, but the lambs were right beside them and nobody noticed each other at all. Okay, we're gonna try to get them out. Come on, you guys. Come on. You too. Come on, you guys. The other pen. You're going to a new barn. Go on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Film that because that was a bit of an ordeal because like I said before sheep get used to where they are and they don't want to go somewhere new even though these sheep wander the yard all the time they didn't want to go to this barn they wanted to go to the barn where they've been living so it took quite a few attempts but all the boys are over here now right now we have this side of the pen empty and the Dorset moms and little lambs are on this side. And Arnie's bringing in a bale of straw. So we're going to completely fill this side of the barn up with fresh straw too. We'll try to get them to the back. Katie, come here. Gotta wait for Arnie. Really? Can't believe you can't, be can't believe you use those gates back there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Really? Okay, this is the side they're staying on for a while. So it was hard to get them out of the barn and they don't like water, but at least they're in the home stretch now. Come on, you guys. Keep up with their moms. That way, that way. Okay, can you block this? Yep. The other way. Now I 
think they might see the door. You just have to go slowly because you don't want lambs to get trampled. Come on, you too, you too. it for this barn. Now we have a Suffolk group on one side and we're gonna have the Dorsets on the other. Next load we bring over will be a Dorset group. And until these start to fill up we'll just leave those replacement ULAMs back there for a little while but eventually they will have to leave that barn too. Next job is trimming and releasing some of the pressure's out of the jugs right now. Next Suffolk to leave the jug. Go on. You're the first to be in the pen. There you go. I thought there was. Because there was a lot of action today, I didn't get a lot of filming because I needed my hands all the time. But um, we got all those Suffolk's taken over and the sheep sorted and the lambs vaccinated. We got another Dorset group set up here, and it's got enough in here right now that we're going to probably send this group over tomorrow to the coverall to join the other little Dorset lambs. And then we got a new another group starting on the back half as well. Looks like we have a ewe back there that's going to have a lamb. She's got a sack out. But nothing's happening yet, but she's definitely going to lamb from Sheriff's Group. And on this side, it looks quiet. Everyone's eating. And in here, I don't know why everyone's clustered up here. But I don't see anyone lambing in this barn yet. But I'll go through because it's getting dark and i got to make dinner. So I'll tell you all that's been happening. We'll give you our daily update. And right now we got so many lambs in the jugs. The jugs are full, as you can see. Um, we have to be super, super diligent now because it's very easy to overlook a lamb that's struggling. These two, I just fed them and they were struggling and that that lamb can hear me because it recognizes me now for a bottle and I may just top it up again before I leave but this is a first timer with twins and she's just got a lot of milk again so they she's got big nipples so they just have to figure out how to suck off those big nipples and these guys I'm guessing they're all doing well because nothing's happened this one who had triplets, one's a beautiful big female there, and one's a nitty bitty male. So I, I just, he's feisty, he's not sickly at all, but I just double check that he's getting enough to drink and that mom's doesn't step on him. But I'll say that this mom is extremely gentle. And these triplets, are refusing to take a bottle from me and she's loving them at the moment so every day I'll try get one of them on and who knows maybe someone will take one of the lambs but so far no one wants them except for her she wants them she says they're my lambs this mom we treated her with long-acting penicillin because for some reason she's got an infection on half her udder so hopefully we've caught it in time and hopefully it won't be damaged forever. Uh, who else is new? This girl's, I just tagged her. She's going to go out tonight. 
And this is Pinky and the adopted mom. They seem to be doing okay, but we let Yellow and his mom out today, so we don't want to put them both together right away in case there's they get mixed up by the smells. This mom's got a lamb in there and she looks like she's taking a well-deserved rest. And just a couple of seconds ago, this girl, Texel, had two lambs, two really nice males. You can see she's still got her sack hanging out there. I'll go show you these guys because they're pretty cute. How's your lammies doing? Are they snuggling right with you? Are they snuggling in there? Hi you guys, it's chilly. I'm gonna put a little blanket on them because they were just born. Hey mom, but they're laying with you, aren't they? And you're not gonna let us see them, are you? Yeah. <laughs> Mommy. Well, I'm telling you, they're very cute. <laughs> Mommy, there's one. But the, but the, brother, the brother's facing the other way. Very vigorous lambs, these two were. And then we have these two twins that were born yesterday. And they look like they're doing good. This one's got a milky lips. And this is Whitey and Elsie. They're treating Elsie for mastitis too. Hi, sweetie. But I think her udder's totally shot because it wasn't good last year either. And then these two were just born as well. A boy and a girl. And... This is the other triplet that this mom kind of took. We're working on her. She semi-loves it. And here's the sick you. She's got her head in the trough. She's eating. She's had several poops today. All congealed poops that, were t that took an effort to get out. But she's pooping. Uh, but she's still straining, but she's still hanging in, so she's getting everything. Today we gave her some B vitamins as well. Back in the jugs. It looks like we didn't empty a bunch of them out today, and actually we did. We let a whole bunch out. That's why the croup pens are full again. But they're coming in fast and furious now because I think the third was the start of the second cycle. And we always said that the second cycle is the big one. And yeah, now they're all multiples basically. This one's a single here. But um, here we go. Twins. Twins here. Hi, buddy. I didn't see you. You were sleeping last time. Elsie had triplets. This one just had twins. This one had twins, and she has a really happy little one here. Looks like you're having a good time, buddy. There you go. You can get let out soon. The pens where they're doing that, I know that I don't have to worry that they're getting enough milk and that they're doing okay. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Are you having a great time in here? Hi. Looks like you're having a great time. Daddy, 
jump right on top of you? What are brothers for? Now that one just got up. So what we look for is we look to see that he's going to have a stretch or something. Hey, how you doing? Hi. You're the other one. You're sleeping. Your rowdy brother woke you up. It's nice to have twins. Because then, even in the jugs, they can have fun. So, that was an extremely busy day for us. I know it didn't seem too busy on the camera, probably. But really, really busy. My back is aching. Gotta go make dinner and hopefully get some rest. Like I say, there's a you coming in now. But hopefully she's the last for the whole night so Arnie can have a sleep tonight as well. And then we'll be back at it again tomorrow. So thank you for watching and I hope you join us then. Bye for now.